guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to another Carlton Career Mode episode. And today, uh, we've got a second round of the NAB Cup against Fremantle. Uh, we were able to get into the second round, of course, uh, the win from Sydney. If we lost, I doubt we would have made it, but yeah, I'm not really sure. Maybe you just play against someone anyway. I'll just roll with it and see how we go. So first up, manage team. Uh, I reckon it's good here. It shows like versus whoever you're versing against. That's very good. You can see their quality. Obviously, Fremantle, uh, they're probably the better team. They're a very strong team. Um, I thought, yeah, their forward is very good. Obviously, they've got guys like Pavlich up there. And the midfield is very strong uh, with guys like Barlow, Fife, Mundy, and of course, Sanderland's in the ruck really tall. So that might be a trouble for this match. And also, another thing I like to see, uh, the popular popularity, I should say, for us is 50%. So hopefully, we can improve that and make us more popular with the fans. I would, I would imagine that's just the fans' popularity and tribunal. I'll see if you can see anything, any players suspended. Uh, just see right here. So I'm just showing you just to see how it works for any people that don't have the game yet. And hopefully you do enjoy doing it live uh, because I'm doing I'm doing like maybe two episodes today before I upload the second one. So uh, yeah, hopefully you do like it. Me doing it live, probably better. Uh, people might like it more. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, that's the example of the tribunal. And I was going to do injuries as well, yeah. Uh, we don't have an injury, thankfully. So here, you see Carnesis from Brisbane. You see the type of injury, which is a strained groin. How many weeks? 10 weeks. Pretty big injury there. And then the treatment, hospital that and uh, recovery. I'm not sure what that stands for. I would imagine it would be recovery. Uh, but anyway, it's 6%. That's like, obviously, 100% is good. And so he's still far away from being... You see Van Perlo, 6%. And there's a lot of big-term injuries, long-term injuries here. Look at that. St. Kilda, uh, Dempster injured for 18 weeks and Steven for 10 weeks. So big injuries for them. Oh, I might as well see the Fremantle one as we're playing against them. So check that out. Uh, Fremantle, no injuries. Any suspensions for them? I'm not sure. Have to go. Yeah, they have no suspensions. So let's go into the team lineup and set up our team. Uh, it's pretty much how I want it, like in defense and midfield. There's not really much I would change. You've got Warnock in the ruck, of course. He's been doing very good for me. And I haven't improved any players by the training yet. I might do that a bit later, like for the actual season starting. I'll just save it up until then. And I actually, I thought to myself, I might as well give my player a chance. Uh, I just got to see, am I in there 57 rated? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to do it yet, but leave in your comments if you want to give my own personal chance or should I just give the real players a chance? That just feels more realistic for me. And like I said, with the subs, I said it in the last episode, but I'm just going to act because the auto sub doesn't work. They don't auto sub the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically act as I have for all of my players are subs and I just put them on at any point in the game. Uh, or yeah, I might just change it how I want to change it because however it goes, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just make it up as I go along, I guess. Yeah, just going to make sure my team is right because weight is coming back. Yeah, McLean's there. That's what I thought was wrong. Uh, he's coming back from the suspension. So you put him in there. Yes. And then I'll just bring Brock McLean on for a bench spot uh, for Hampson. I probably won't, sw uh, won't switch big players most likely. Yeah, I'll just see how it goes anyway. But Hampson is decent, actually. I'll put Hampson as the... Oh, not as a sub. I'll just swap him... Uh, actually, I'll swap him for Tui because Tui's not rated well in the game. So I'll just put him in there. He's just a bit better than Armfield. So I'll leave Armfield in there. Could play defense or midfield. Hampson, I'll like rotate him maybe like once or twice with Cruiser or or, McCle or, or, or Warnock, I should say, in the ruck. Then you've got those other players there. Yeah, unfortunately, auto sub doesn't work. So that's a bit unfortunate. But I'll just do some subs during the game. But I noticed the fitness doesn't go down too much anyway. So it doesn't, it shouldn't really matter. So anyway, going to the second round of the NAB Cup. Ideally, I would want to go for a run, but also I want to show my staff what I spent it on. I want to spend it on scouts because uh, what at least what it says for scouts here, uh, for people that haven't seen this yet, it says the scout is the linchpin to assembling a quality set squad for years to come. The better your scouts, the more information you'll have at your disposal on draft picks and cheap trades. Your scouts will work throughout the season to reveal the potential of players in the draft and loyalty of the players in other teams. That's very important. Like If they don't have a high loyalty, they might want to come to your team. Enabling you to arrange trades other clubs are more likely to agree to. So that's very good. And the other ones are just like all coaching stuff. Whoops. Uh, anyway, like negotiators. I might do that. The salary cap. Um, yeah. 
I might do that a bit higher right now because I've heaps of money. I might put that on 10 as well because that's something I want to focus on uh, largely. I want to focus on like bringing new players to the team. That's what I want to focus most on. So yeah, hopefully I can get through that a lot. And like I said, over the weekend, I'm not going to be able to play, but I'm going to sim. I'm going to sim because because I have to. Ch I'm not going to bring all my recording uh, stuff to another house. So I'm going to basically. Uh, I'm going to sim a, a series. I'm well, not a series. Just a sim a career. Uh, so I can see how it works for my actual career mode series I'm putting on YouTube. So I know how it works. Just so I'm uh, fully prepared. So playing, it's a windy match. Uh, we're not, uh, Fremantle is obviously better, but it's in our home ground. You think we'll just have that slight advantage um, to Frio. But yeah, we'll just see. Uh, so I'm actually really enjoying playing the game. I noticed on Facebook, a lot of people are saying the game is crap. I could only imagine that's why uh, people are saying that because it's harder. That's the only reason. They might play on hard because they thought they were good at the game or they were good at the game last year or in AFL Live, the first edition. They were they were good at the game. They could win on the hardest level. Now they try to now and it's harder. They just give up because they say it's too hard. Uh, that's just my opinion on that. But anyway, uh, we're in Etihad Stadium. Uh, looks decent. I don't think I've played here yet. The grass looks decent. Uh, I don't like it when there's like shade and stuff because I can hardly see. But anyway, let's go. Very good tackling early. Henderson coming in. Uh, Warnock and yeah, please leave your comments for me doing it live because um, I enjoy playing games more when I do commentary That's what happened like in my football manager series. I just enjoyed it more. But anyway, they're gonna look to have an early attack here Oh, it's gonna miss uh, Morabito unfortunate for him in real life having a lot of injuries. I think he's a quality player and Yeah, leave your comments if you want me to show the replays like this There's a lot of them anyway <laughs> Um, and yeah, if you like seeing the full match, if you like the episodes longer. So here, some people may have trouble from here. What I do, I do kick to the lead by pressing Y. And then obviously I wasn't supposed to get into the red, but it ended up working and we find Layla. And I like it like this, the setup. You can uh, search for your options and the, that's definitely something I like to do. So here, we'll play on. I'm just trying something here. See, your players don't react well. There's like slow reaction, so I might not do that, even though it's something that look, that would be realistic for me, what I, wouldn't, what I would want to do, play out defense. So, yeah, you're probably just going to have to kick. It's just a slow reaction. I'm not sure about you. But when you handball to them, they don't really react fast. So here, Harmfield uh, should just go, okay, I didn't meant to do that. <laughs> See, I'm still learning the control. So I pressed X. I'm just really confused with the controls right now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not confused. I just got to get used to it. I'm just, sometimes I know what to do. Sometimes I don't. And luckily, it's only NAB Cup right now. But my last match against Sydney was good. G we lost against GWS, unfortunately, but... There's not much you can do about that, like I said. Um, so, yeah, tackle there. Get the ball. Tackle again. They really win it. Okay, they, see, that's where I would want to handle, but I kick it. So, I'm really still confused because of the last AFL game. But I'm slowly getting used to it. I would imagine the time the season comes around, I'll get used to it. So, no problems there, hopefully. And there we try to kick it away. Hopefully, just about here. So, we still have the chance. I would rather for it to be out of bounds than a behind. Um, I've actually got a few goals like from just tapping it then do a quick snap but We'll see what Warnock can do here if he can find someone we didn't oh oh this sh Of course Morabito is injured. Well, what did I say at least the game's realistic didn't I thought that went over the line Okay, where's the instant replay here? We go luckily. This is the game look goal. That's a goal. Was that a goal? Leave your comments. Do you think that was a goal? Uh, <laughs> uh, where's the review system? That's what I want to see I thought that was going through yeah, for, for sure. Okay, anyway. We'll just have to go for a shot. Henderson pushing up forward right now. Oh, might have to go for the torpedo. See what we can do from here. Henderson, not sure my aiming there. But anyway, see, exact, if you do that, if you don't concentrate, that's what happens. But anyway, I should have done better on that occasion. Carazzo in a good position to mark here, but doesn't pick it up. Yaren again. He's been really good off of halfback. He's been picking up the crumbs a lot and spoiling well. And yeah, hopefully he can... I'm not sure if there's like all Australian in the game. I guess that's something why I'm simming so I know, uh, so I can talk about it in other episodes. So here, Laidler, uh, decent kick. He's not going to get there. Uh, Mark Murphy, he's our best player rated, uh, 96. But I've also noticed some other high rated players are rated highly. Uh, but there, Nick Diagon picking it up. And here, I'm not sure. I'll look to just, again, too much power on that. But that was lucky uh, to get away with that. Scotland should just get it over the top and go for the mark. And yeah, Simpson just left that for whatever reason. Went for the bump. Here, go on the handball. Now, oh, tackling, yeah, tackling is way different. You can't, you can't just go for the tackle. And we give it up here. 
Well, no doubt we're playing against a better team, so we've got to. Be, and also, I wouldn't want to win every match as well. Like, would that be? That would be boring to watch. Like, from a viewer's point of view, just leave your comments. If I won every game, would you get bored? So that's another thing. Uh, and I don't want to get too good at the game because that might happen, and people get bored if I'm dominating teams all the time. But this game, as a whole, it feels closer. Like every game you play is close. Uh, unless you play on the hardest level, then you get raped pretty much. <laughs> unless you're really good. But holding the ball, very good there. Like I said with Murphy, uh, yeah, he's our best player, so definitely not there. I, I'm still, I'm, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure what the words to describe the game for. Or, or just I'm still, as you can see there. Um, anyway, they're gonna have a shot. I'll be I'll try and improve. Yeah, probably over the weekend. Before I get into the actual season, I might play a bit more, so I'm really, really good. But maybe sometimes you just can't improve. But this is the second day of me playing it. So anyway. Um, kicking out again. This is where I'm having troubles pretty much. But we'll find Henderson. And leave your comments on the camera as well if you think it's decent. Uh, so, we'll look for a short. Looking for Judd there. Uh, not a great kick. Oh, I told you not a great kick. Would have got intercepted, which it did. Tackle. The ball three, Judd. Now we should pick it up. But we don't. We tackle. Keep tackling. That's good. Uh, for me still, the players' reactions are really slow. Like, I feel my opponent can catch up easier. But, yeah, that's just my experience so far with the game. And here, it would be nice to see your opponents. I'm not sure if you can change it in the settings, but anyway, I won't focus on that too much. Henderson, go for the mark. Oh, nice. At least they picked it up. Handball. Again, I see. I get mixed if I, I have it or if my opponent has it or I have no idea. Anyway, nice running here. Diagon kick. Not a great kick. Should have found Judd. Almost did. Get back. Get back. Oh. Okay, who's this? Garlet? Not really sure. Wait, it was in the end. Uh, Warnock, quick. He couldn't pick it up. And now they're on the rebound. Nice tackling. Ooh, I think that was like smothered or something. Tackle. Oh, look at all their numbers now. They're sure to score. Look at their handballing R, but they mess it up. I couldn't pick it up as well. Now, that's something I've noticed so far. It's hard to pick it up on occasions. I'm not sure if there's buttons you press or whatever. Tackle. No prior opportunity. Most likely no one will score. There's limited time on the clock left. Gone. Uh, two seconds left in this quarter, um, but at least it's fairly close. Like it, a nine to one in the first quarter, uh, not an ideal result for me. We've had twenty tackles, and that's something I've been focusing on. But if they have the ball, obviously you're going to get tackles. Uh, but that's what my tactic is based on, really. Tackle, and yeah, the thing on high tackles, I haven't really noticed high tackles being paid. But yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see if, if that ever happens. I've noticed a couple throws, but not overly. So it's not like a mistake in the game, but there is some mistakes in the game. Like there's no auto subs, which is a big thing. Uh, hopefully get a lucky bounce here. Lucky bounce. No, that's going to be... Oh, we did late, but... And it's a super goal as well uh, to double their score. So that was a big goal by Nat5. Big kick. And yeah, I'm not going to say it's a lucky bounce. That's what the bounce you would expect. Um, oh yeah, it's only two... Oh, we're going to have to make a big impact here, would we? Because it's just two halves. Holding the ball. We're going to have to take this chance here. Just bomb it in. Well, that wasn't really a bomb. But anyway, uh, we're not going to... Uh, if we're going to kick like that, we're not going to be scoring many goals. Uh, so here, let's try and mark it. Yeah, I shouldn't really be marking that, to be honest. Being behind. But that's the game. But well, yeah, we really need a goal. Wait. Try and hip and shoulder someone. Gone. Oh, that could have been throw. Or be something. Oh, nice. Warnock. Too late. Tackle. What was that? Pushed in the back. Okay. Warnock, he's a left footer, so just put it... Uh, just do a... Nah, you just have to do it straight. I'll just see how it goes. Warnock, poor, very poor effort. And see, if you hold it too long... But I could... That's why I hold it longer, because I haven't been getting goals from that far yet. So there's not much you can do. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... Especially with these shorter games, it's going to be hard to win. Unless this is the second round, there might be more... There may be more. I'll just yeah. I'll just have to uh, take it as it comes, I guess, and just put myself in a good position. I would. Judd can't mark that. Tried to punch it, but it didn't work. Uh, so currently, oh, they have two goals. It looks like they have three, but they don't. You know, with the super goal, Yaren two against one. Nice punch, actually. So I really got my. I got to get my handball game going. That's the only way you can really mount attacks. Uh, it really depends on how the game flow is. Like each game may be different or. 
whatever. Murphy, oh, you see how they were pushing with the body, and I wasn't even pressing pressing anything for that. So uh, that's actually a decent feature, I guess, if that's a feature. Oh, puts a ball in, nice kick. That was always going to be cruisers, and I didn't mean to do that. And of course, I'll be holding the ball. See, th that's the thing that's going to make different result, different. Just knowing, not knowing the controls. I'm not very good with controls, like, in a new game. Like, it takes me a really long time compared to most people. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm... Yeah, I'll have to wait longer. So, now I do it properly. So, well, it probably doesn't make a difference now. Cruiser. Kick it. Yes. We get one back. So, hopefully, there is. I'm pretty sure. Once you get past that group stage, like, there's three... Uh, three, like, the first round of the NAB Cup, they're a full match. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, anyway. So, you have more time to come back. Judd, get it out. Murphy, pick it up. Ooh, try th Ooh high. Seriously, no, no high free kicks have been paid yet, like, in any game I've played. So, Judd, trying to use... See, my players feel slower than the opposition. But here, run. Murphy, I tried to kick it, but it didn't kick. <laughs> uh, see, that could have been another golden chance. Not Decent tackle. My players are diving everywhere. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm going to try and get this to Judd because... Oh, I might just kick it over the top. Over the top to Cruiser again. Go back and kick it. Uh, see, they made it interchange, but I've only noticed interchange when the players get injured. I might just do one. Yeah, I might just do one now just to see how it is. But another straight kick for Cruiser. I'll look to make an interchange. Uh, anyone whose fitness is lower, Warnock. Um, yeah, now I'll just give. I'll take Warnock off and I'll bring on Hampson just to rotate him a bit. Yeah, I might not do that. Ideally, you want to make heaps of subs, but you can't do that because it doesn't auto-sub. But, it, again, with that, I wouldn't want to, like, make too many subs, like, auto because they might put players in positions you don't want. So, I've noticed that with the last AFL game. So, yeah, maybe it's not too, it's not too bad because the players' fitness don't go too low. Ah, bad kick. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to act like this is going to be over in this half and try and get a winner. But, anyway, hit it. Nah. Uh, is that Fife again? Yeah, he's a good player, definitely. So I'm trying to change my player to one of my defenders, but it doesn't seem to be working. Laidler, take this. He does. So here, just kick it on the run. Well, not on the run. What is it called? To the lead. And again, another poor kick, <laughs> of course. Let's see what he's going to do from here. Oh, it's almost two against one. The Fremantle player could have made it two against one, but he wasn't smart to that. Laidler. And yeah, I'm really noticing they're taking it they're taking it like a bit long to kick it, more than I would like, unfortunately. And here comes oh yeah, just another goal for five. Uh even though like I'm not playing well, I'm still enjoying playing, and that's the biggest thing for me if you're enjoying actually playing the game. Obviously you don't want to lose every single time, but oh that should be holding the ball. Oh, come on, ref. Or oh, umpire. <laughs> anyway, Hampson finds Judd. Judd gets the clearance kick. But, yeah, I'm really finding it hard to control my players sometimes. Uh, here, look at all the players they have in the middle. That's something, really, we have to do something about. Luckily, they're taking their time. Well, look at this. This is almost like three against one. It is, see? And I punch it, and it goes to them. And they keep getting a handball out, which is not very good. And they get another goal, unfortunately. But, yeah, as I said, Fremantle's a good team. You probably expect them to do well against us. And they got a super goal as well to make their lead a bit bigger uh, earlier. So, oh, surely that has to be hot. Thank you. Mundy gone by Hampson. So, again, too much power on the kick. I really got got to get used to that. Uh, I will eventually. It just, yeah, you don't want to be too good at a game straight away, to be honest. So there, nice boil. Simpson, Murphy, nice handballing. But eventually I'll stuff it up, as you can see here. But who knows? Kick it long. Just get it long. Cruiser, this is how we have to go. Just give it to Cruiser just before the half. Oh, hopefully, it's just the half anyway, so I can have a chance to win. But we'll just see. As Cruiser puts another one through. I think that's three goals for him. Unfortunately, it doesn't pop up saying, but there's not much you can do about that. Yeah, I'll just skip that. And that is the halftime score, hopefully. Okay, it is halftime. Yes, I have a chance. Yeah, I was pretty sure that would have been the case. But who knows in the game. You just They might have not done it right or whatever. Uh, I think I'll bring Warnock back because Hampson isn't amazing. But I've been doing decent in the ruck anyway. I'll just see what happens from this play here. Uh, let's try and spoil this. Oh, good spoil. Diagon. Yeah, I'm getting used to this handballing now. Nice. That's nice handballing. Nice and quickly. Then we give it away, of course. And it's going to probably release. Well, not. It's going to 
it's going to end up being a goal. I'm just going to put... Yeah, let's get the interchange back. And let's put on... Yeah, take Hampson off and get Warnock back in. We need... He's the best Ruckman, obviously. He'll be able to direct it more. Yes. Put him in. And yeah, other than that, we have our best team we could possibly have, to be honest. And we need our best team on the ground to win. So, they have a shot here. I'm not sure who it is. Who's number one for Fremantle? Regardless, it scores. Ballantyne, of course. It'll be good if they have their names down the bottom for them. But it's not a big thing. Okay. Didn't that look like a goal? Uh, I thought it was a goal. <laughs> I can tell already. Uh, of course that was going to happen. Look at that. Big mark. Now, what are they, they going to miss another chance? Let's see. And that's basically straight through the middle. Uh, not an ideal start. Nice goal from DeBoer on that occasion. Uh, and so, yeah, I would like to know if you like these episodes live, even though they go a bit longer. Uh, yeah, just leave your comments, because I'm used to making FIFA videos, and obviously they'll be shorter. Um, yeah, I guess you just need to leave your comments, uh, so I know what's best to do. So we get the handball out there, even though I didn't press handball. <laughs> no handball back. Throw. I guess it's like real life. Throws are not paid uh, when they should be anymore, really. Mark. We're not out of it. We just need we need to get some momentum, pretty much. That's a big thing in football. Uh, Warnock, what a mark. He's going to take heaps of marks. Should I play on or... Oh, Cruiser's by himself. Cruiser. What? Oh, he dropped it. I thought he was going to... go. Oh, I thought I could have tackled there. Mark. Oh, again, dropping marks. Tackle. That should have been a free kick. Okay, put it in. I think Carazzo that was. But again, a poor kick. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to score much goals kicking like this. Okay, go for the mark. Okay, see, that doesn't make sense, marking it from behind like that. It just looks weird, but it works, so I'm just going to continue doing it. Wait. Oh, but it goes to... Oh, Warnock was roving on that occasion. Wait, should find Cruiser. And Cruiser... Oh, that was very poor. That was a very poor kick. But Warnock going up for this should win the tap again. He does. That's... it. Oh, bounce decent. Oh, I tried to miss. But Murphy puts it in. Uh, you would expect Murphy with a very good rating. We'll just check the replay there. Nice tap by Warnock. That found Murphy. Uh, very funny kick there. Just out of the pack. Quick, like Basically just a quick kick, which resulted in that kind of bounce. But luckily, it wasn't a terrible bounce for us. And we're still in the match somehow. Uh, they missed quite a few chances. Judd. On the, uh, again, I wanted to handle that. But anyway, Judd. Get it back. Whoa, that was lucky. Again, Hamble, Judd, need a nice bounce here. And, oh, they tried to jeer us there, but Judd kicks it. You see with the bounce, I definitely like that, even though it may result in behind sometimes. Uh, it just adds to the realism of the game, pretty much, and that's a big thing for me, as we're mounting a comeback. That's why I say I like playing these longer matches. Like, if it was the heart, only two halves, would have lost. So, I should be coming back here, because every second I play, the more used to I'm getting it. Uh, more used to I'm getting to the game, if that makes sense at all. Warnock, another kick. Should find Walker, does. I'm finding marking a bit easy. Um, Walker, take the shot, I guess. But it's just like, a bit far, I think. I'm struggling to shoot from this range. Uh, but let's see what we can do anyway. Walker, that's the best I can really do from there. Cruiser again. He'll definitely not miss from here. He'll go back straight in front and should finish this. But you got to make sure you do it good with flicking the stick. Or it can go horrible, like sometimes it does. But yeah, this is a really decent comeback we're making right now. And Cruiser are really dominating. If this was like a regular season, I think in the regular season, Cruiser could really... Uh, he could dominate against some opponents. <laughs> Who knows? He could win the brown low, pretty much. Because uh, he'll get a decent amount of disposals and goals, not to mention that as well. Oh, he should have got the tackle there. And look, look at that marking by defenders. They're not even there. And... Whoa, he almost missed, but it's a super goal. That's not really what I wanted. But look at this. Look how far away my fullback is to the actual full forward. Uh, and I'll, I'm not sure if you can fix that within like the team tactics, but yeah, I'll, I'm not sure what you can do. Judd should put the tackle on there. Does handball. Not sure what that was. Wait, kick it. Here comes Cruiser again. Oh, this could be a goal. Goal! Wait, kicks one. So we get a goal back, even though their goals was a super goal. I tried to kick it off the ground there, and he ended up picking it. And Cruiser could have got that. But let's see. Was that a goal? <laughs> uh, yeah, that definitely went over the line. 
So maybe I should bring uh, bring an interchange player on. Uh, you, like I said, they don't auto interchange, so they're basically like subs almost. Some of them haven't even been on yet, so um, hopefully my players can get back here and defend. And that's another goal. We need something to stop their goals. That's the main thing. I don't know I'm going to controls right now. Um, so yeah, just judging on this match right now, it's gone 25 minutes. So just as a gauge, most ep like episodes will probably be like in between 30 and 35 minutes. So if you think that's decent, uh, yeah, just leave in your comments. So we got Yaren. I don't really see. I guess you have to take Warnock, Warnock, off for. Why is Jamison on the bench? Are they actually doing auto subs or do, do they just do it when they feel like it? Uh, that's maybe one reason it hasn't been doing well because Jamison's been off the ground and take Armfield off Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happening there uh, So that might be a reason we might lose but I'm not using it as an excuse I still think we can win because we came back very well. We've actually we've got the same amount of goals But they've got the super golds super goals. I should say anyway rebound. I'm really good at this rebounding stuff right now Judd Judd should find someone Murphy, have the shot. Again, like I said, it's taking too long to shoot. But wait, should find Cruiser again. Again, it's like taking really long on the shots. But you can't... Oh, Garlet finds it and he scores. We're really starting to play how we like to now. But as I said, it's really... I'm not sure for those who played the game already, but it, it seems like a slow reaction. It's like when you press it, um, yeah, your players take long to react. I don't know if that's just me or whatever, but... Yeah, I'm not using it as an excuse, but I'm just trying to say what's actually happening <laughs> to me. So, I'm probably going to have to stop playing. Uh, obviously, I'll stop playing, but I don't think I'll do another episode today. I'll be pretty busy. Uh, but I'll up, I'll just got to see my schedule of uploading this. And they're going to get an easy goal yet again, unless they can, yeah, no words on that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to make videos over the weekend. That's why I'm trying to do a couple today. And I'll try and upload, because I'm actually, I'm going to the final on Sunday. Carlton versus Richmond should be a good match. Carlton's got a good record. But here, uh, they're just... It's impossible to stop their attack right now. You, I guess you can say it's my tactics probably, but I don't think it is. Fremantle is a better team. Oh uh, yeah, but what can you do? Hampson's still in the ruck. I'll probably bring in Warnock for the last quarter to mount a comeback. Uh, Griffin holding the ball. So here, Hampson. Uh, again, handballing it. I did not mean to do that. Okay, eight seconds. What can we do from here? Most likely nothing. But it's Murphy. Go for the shot. Find Cruiser. And Cruiser. On the siren. It just went like that because it is, in fact, on the siren. So, I've got to go for a long kick here. Just, please make it. It does. I think that's the furthest goal I've got. So, kick that on the siren, I should say. To give us a, a slight chance of getting something from this match. Or getting a win. Uh... Obviously, yeah, it's nine points the difference. One of their super goal, super goals is the difference. So right now, let's make it not instruction, uh, interchange, and bring on. Why is Hampson chosen? Oh, he's in the ruck. Like, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I can't change him because he's going for the ruck contest. I'll do it like in next break in play or whenever. Ta, oh, they didn't make the tackle. Get it? Nah, this is gonna be. See, look at that. Bad defending. The the fullbacks don't stay on the full forwards. Uh, but I suppose that's why Cruz has got a lot as well. I'll just do it so I can put in... Uh, Jamison. You can't change a player when he's in action. I suppose that's realistic. Uh, bring in Warnock for Hampson. But honestly, I don't care if I'm going to lose. because So I can just get straight into the season. Which is probably people I'm more interested in. I guess. But like I said, I'm going to be busy over the weekend. But I'm still going to sim through. And see how the game is in terms of trading and drafting and all that kind of thing. And I'll just write some things down so I can mention them throughout the season. And again, really poor. Jamison... Oh, fuck! Sorry. I didn't mean to swear, but I just get angry in some situations. Um, but I definitely can see uh, people how they can get mad at the game and that kind of thing. But honestly, it's a game. Like, uh, What can you say about it? I know some people take back games and that kind of thing but i i never really will take a game back like yeah i, I don't care what what was the game like only 64 dollars like it's seriously it's not that much maybe for little kids and still in school but uh yeah what can you do so here we probably can't we might need a super goal to stand a chance come on that's sure that had to be holding the ball surely he held it for long enough and here we're getting dominated in the ruck but murphy once again 
We've got to go with this handballing. This is our way to go. Handball. Poor handball that was. Uh, there's been errors from handballs. But I suppose that's the pressure from the opposition and um, some different other things. Oh, Judd, what a handball. I pressed handball. Oh, Murphy injured. That's fantastic, isn't it? What? No chance to win now. Of course, our best player is gone. And look at that. Poor picking up. Oh, just keep handballing it. That's going to be my strategy. But look at that. Cruiser. I tried to tackle, but it's not working. Okay, Judd. Now, there's a lot of injuries. Okay, is Murphy off or what's what's his situation? Uh, oh, they put Armfield on. I might have to put McLean on. I'll do it in the next, in the next stoppage, but... Yeah, we'll just go uh, go with Judd for the set shot, even though he won't get it from here. Uh, what can we do? Just put it in the danger zone for Cruiser. Oh, we had to mark that, surely. There's still a slight chance of coming back, but it's a very, very slight chance. Garlic, quick kick, quick kick, Cruiser again. They don't really go for the marks, which is disappointing. Surely that had to be a throw. Or something, I don't know. Again... You've got to make the change here. Instruct. I don't mean to keep going in that, but that's what happens. Um, Judd, Armfield. Armfield has to get off. He's not good enough. Uh, we need to bring in McLean. He's our best midfielder. And with Murphy injured, ah, uh, that's a big. That's a bad start to the season. If it's a big injury, hopefully it's not. And then we're gonna ha definitely have trouble with the season, uh, because clearly Murphy and Judd they're the key player. So I might have to put myself in and see how I go. Uh, who knows. As you can see, we have to go for the mark here with Laidler. And yeah, it was a poor attempt. Couldn't get it. Surely they have to be holding the ball. And that's a goal. The game is over from here. But I'll still play through it. It's hard to get a goal outside 50, so super goals are outside of the question. Warnock, their player is right there. Okay, Judd, quickly. Just kick. It takes so long to kick it. Okay, try and hip and shoulder. That didn't work. Oh, again, poor handballs. Oh, Warnock. What a spin by Warnock. Oh, I have no idea what I pressed to do that, but nonetheless, he did it. And Carazzo should finish. And he does. Um, yeah, we, with the time left, we probably can't. If it was real life, you couldn't, but it's a game, so a slight chance. But Warnock, he's been a very good player. Surprisingly good. Uh, Warnock, obviously, their super goals are different. Oh, holding the ball. Surely, we're not even getting these calls right now. Oh, again, poor positioning. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I, I can't, I can't do anything. Imagine if you were playing on hard, the, this game, the, at least they made it harder. Got to give, uh, give it to the people who made the game, whoever they are, a wicked witch. Uh, anyway, this is a really, really, my, my defenders just run away pretty much. Oh, what a mark. Uh, at least we get a highlight of some mark in there. But Diagon, poor kick, poor kick. I don't even know what to say anymore about the game. And uh, Diagon, can he go for the mark again? Obviously, he's putting he's putting in a good performance so he can stay in the team, obviously. Yaron, go for it. Oh, it's play on, is it? Okay, let's go. Handball. It's, it takes too long to kick it, so I'm just going to handball. I'm going to get tackled if I try and kick it, like, in the ground. Tackle. Oh, sure. How much time do they just handball it away? Uh, kick it clear. Handball. Just, that's what I'm going to do. Handball and run. Unless you get in some space. And then you end up kicking it to the opponent. But Warnock, he's been getting a lot of the ball. He's been very good. <laughs> I was going to say keeper. Uh, so used to playing FIFA. Uh, but anyway, not sure why I said that. Okay. Diagon again. Two against one. Oh, he did well. But again, there's hardly any space. Let's just go for long kick, Gibbs. That didn't work either. Kick. Now kick it. Now find someone. Nah, we're getting a lot inside 50s, but the kicking is really appalling. And Henderson, go for it. Oh, keep going. Just run or do do something. No prior opportunity, but another tackle by Warnock. Uh, I'm not too disappointed with the performance because a lot of the goals is just because my fullbacks are in a stupid position. And I'm not sure if you can fix that, but anyway. But if you can see the opposition as well, their fullbacks are in bad position as well. So I guess it goes both ways. But it does make it unrealistic, unfortunately. But there is, there's not much you can do about it, I guess. Again, another poor attempt at a mark, and now kicking it the opposite way. And look at, just look where Pavlic is and the fullback. He's just in bad positioning. 
and I didn't even kick it to him in the end, but Diagon should pick up, or oh, didn't pick up another mark, but a bad kick again. I'm not sure how it ended up going there, but anyway, there's definitely a lot of things I've got to get used to, and let's see if they get it. Is that going to be a super goal? Well, let's just say he misses anyway, so it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to matter. So this video went 35 minutes, at least up to this stage, so I'll just try and get through it quickly. We show the man of the matches. Um, Cruiser, yeah, obviously with a lot of goals, but Fife was really good and Carazzo was really good. I noticed that as well. So unfortunately, we lost. We lost some money. It doesn't really... Well, our pop popularity is going down, unfortunately, but um, that will increase as I get better at the game. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just check our messages right now. Um, oh, we're still round three of the NAB Cup. Honestly, I just want to start the season, honestly, but I suppose we've got to get through this NAB Cup stuff. Uh, what was I going to do? Check out my inbox. Yeah, let's see. Um... Uh, Warnock, of course. Okay, let's just appeal and see what happens with this. Okay, it disappeared. Does that mean it's gone? Who knows? Uh, Warnock, where are we? It says your player, Robert Warnock, was charged initially for two rounds. However, your appeal has been successful and the suspension has been dropped. Great. Uh, Adelaide, we've got next. What's Dangerfield is their best player. And they've currently won three games. And I've only won one, so that's not great. So what was I going to do? I was going to check injuries. What is... Okay, manage team and injuries. Uh, didn't Murphy get injured? Uh, that was really... It's really confusing. Is Murphy at least in the team? Okay, yeah, he's the captain. Great. Uh, Hampson has to go in. Well, he was going to go in because Warnock was suspended, but he's originally got that off. So Warnock is coming. Got to click on him properly first. And yeah, Warnock is coming back in uh, for Hampson. And then Hampson is good to rotate, so I'll bring him back in uh, for Tui. Uh, I'm not sure how good that player's attributes are anyway, but I'll bring Hampson in nonetheless. And yeah, I will think I'll leave it at that for now. There's only so much outfield stuff you can check. I might as well show you the improvement, like who's got the highest experience, and see if that... Uh, Scotland, the oldest player in my team, has got the most experience, so I might do that just to improve him. And wasn't he at 87 overall? I'm not sure. Maybe that just was Judd. Yeah, Judd was 88. Maybe they declined. Older players decline. Uh, that's good to see anyway. And Murphy, wasn't he 96 as well? Who knows? It says 94 there, but let's just let's just see uh, if it says that in the actual team. I'm just, I just want to see a few things here to see if that's his actual... No, his rating's 96 there. Yeah, I have no idea how this game works. Uh, but the game's decent. The gameplay is not bad. Okay, I have another message. Okay, what well, is that just one I didn't click on? Yeah, I just didn't click on it. So that's all of that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, this is another nap cup. I'm not sure because we lost. Weren't we out? I'm not really sure. Maybe just another practice one. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, but anyway, hopefully enjoy this episode. And please leave your comments if you like the length. If you think it's too long, I might start editing them. Uh, but you might want to see my whole reaction to the whole game. Just leave your comments so I know what's best. Because I'm not going to upload one over the weekend after I upload this one. Uh, so you'll have time to leave your comments on them. So hopefully you do enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time for the next episode against Adelaide in the NAB Cup.